So let's create our very first React application. And I'm on my desktop right now, and I'm going to create a new folder. And you can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to stick mine on my desktop. And I'll call it React Apps. Okay? Now, I'm going to open a terminal, and you can use a command prompt on Windows if you're on Windows. But I'm on a Mac, so I will use my favorite terminal program. And I'm going to change to my desktop folder. And of course, in Windows, you can right-click on the folder you just created and say open a command prompt here, but somehow get to your desktop or wherever you put that folder and do an LS or a DIR on Windows and I'm going to go to my React apps and I'll clear the screen and now I want to create my very first React application. Unfortunately, it's pretty easy because we installed Node.js and all of those things. We can just type npx and that is not a typographical error, it is an x and we're going to call create react app and then we'll give our app a name, which I will call Test App. And this will take a little while, particularly the very first time you install a React application. It has to download a few things and create it and get all the necessary components. So we'll just wait it out. Okay, so that took a little while, but now it is installed our first React application. And you can see it gives us some instructions here. We can run npm start. First of all, you have to go inside the directory we just created, and we'll do that in a moment. And you can run npm start to start a development server, and that's exactly what I want to do. We can also do npm run build or npm test and all those things, but right now I want to do an ls, and you'll see we have a new directory here, and again it's dir on Windows. And I'll go into my test app directory, and I'll run npm start. And what this will do is fire up the default application that was just automatically installed for us and open it up in a web browser on port 3000. So let's do that. And there it is. On port 3000, we have a sample React application running. Now it's a cute little animation and everything, but it's nowhere near what we're going to want for our final project, but it is a starting point. All right, in the next lecture, we'll open up this directory, the one we just created, in Visual Studio Code, and we'll start playing around with it.